starts. Welcome on board to Discovery, one of the research vessels from the Natural Environment Research Council. My name is Eric Achterberg, I'm from the University of Southampton National Oceanography Centre and I'm leading this cruise in the tropical North Atlantic. The aim of this cruise is to look at the influence of dust on the chemistry and bi biology of the oceans. We're here in the dustiest part of the world's oceans. In winter, on a regular basis, dust storms come over and dust falls into the ocean here. The dust originates in the Sahara and travels all the way to the Amazon. When the dust falls in the ocean, small amounts of nutrients, which includes iron, nitrogen and phosphorus, will dissolve and this will influence the composition and productivity of the microbial population. We're talking about uh, bacteria and uh, small plants in the ocean. The dust will also influence the production of gases by these organisms. The organisms we're particularly interested in are photosynthesizing bacteria and uh, small uh, bacteria which fix nitrogen gas. The, uh, the nutrients which are released by the dust will stimulate the productivity by the microbial population and this will facilitate uptake of atmospheric CO2 by the oceans. The oceans are an important reservoir of carbon and since the industrial revolution have soaked up more than 30% of the anthropogenically released CO2. Dust loadings to the oceans have uh, changed uh, dramatically over geological time periods and, it's, and the periods with the highest dust loadings have coincided with the lowest atmospheric CO2 concentrations. We're therefore here in the uh, tropical North Atlantic to study the influence of dust on the ocean and we hope this will help to more accurately predict the influence of future dust inputs into the ocean and we anticipate that these future dust inputs will increase due to climate change.